Less than 24 hours to Kogi state elections, rumours of vote buying is making the rounds. The operatives are screening people coming into Hynek's uh, office and suspected thugs invade a hotel where Governor Shea Makindi lodged. And the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, has revealed that 12.5 billion naira has been padded into the 2019 budget. Is this news? Well, this is Plus Politics and I am Mary Anacone. Well, the much-anticipated Kogi elections is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Concerning election materials, INEC resident electoral commissioner in Kogi, Professor James Akwam, said that all non-sex-sensitive materials have been deployed to registration centres across the state. However, concerning security, the commissioner of police in the state, Hakim Basari, had said that adequate security will be provided for the election, but it has been reported that suspected thugs allegedly dressed as policemen in police uniforms, invaded a hotel in Lokoja where the Oyo state governor, Shea Makinde, had lodged ahead of the elections. That's not all. Now, the Center for Democracy and Development, an accredited and trained observer, has also raised fresh concerns about the vote buying, saying that there are indications that a lot of money has been set aside for vote buying tomorrow. Kogi election is on the front burner tonight, and I have my guest in the studio to analyze this with me. I'm being joined by Alester Wilcox. He is a political analyst. It's good to have you join us, Alester. Thank you, Marianne. Thanks for having me. And also, we have Timmy Tokbe Kolawale. He's also a political analyst. Gentlemen, it's good to have you join us. Thank you very much. So, I'm going to start with you, Alester. Um, too many allegations coming in reports, some substantiated, some unsubstantiated. And I'm wondering, Police men or people dressed in police uniforms a day to the elections. Yet, Mr. President has um, allowed for at least 13,000 people, to, uh, police officers, to be sent to Kogi State and Bielsa State. And one would wonder is this another March, April election? Well, uh, the dramatization of electoral process these days is getting me too worried. How do you mean? Uh, we dramatize so many things, like um, what you've just reeled out now. We keep hearing you know, of violence here, violence there, um, both buying money. So is much. it really drama, or is I it think, that people have genuine concerns I, I think and they're raising I, I, I think there's too much dramatization. This morning I was listening to one network, and all you hear is doom, doom, doom. Uh, the women say they are not going to come out. I don't know how many women interviewed. The women say they are going to come because they are afraid. A party, a political party, is threatening people not to come out because. There is, a, if you're not going to vote by this side, oh, a, another place, a candidate. So there is too many dramatization. And um, uh, yeah, the press is meant to report. Uh, uh, they are the fourth state of the realm, according to their 10x, and they're meant to report. But you see, we have to make sense. We don't report the issues at all. I've never. It's true, and and this, in this regard, what do you term as the issues? The issues, I, I, I don't know what each party is offering the people. I've never, I cannot sit down here any program on, uh, on national television, what party A is offering to the people, what party B is offering to What you've been hearing ever since is anarchy, riot, strife, killing, civil commotion. And could, from, could, so this also said, not be, could this also not be, I'm, I'm not saying that yeah. this is it, but could it also not be things that have been thrown into the air, set in motion to distract us, the no, people, no. from the, what you call the issues, the things that they have to offer the people? No, I mean, the press is not going to put it in their no, mouths. They're no, supposed no, to say no, it. No, but, but they have campaigns. These candidates and the pressmen... And the pressmen the press are, are at with those campaigns, them but... In those campaigns. If they do at least not, if you they can, do, if you they do be, not present no, no, what should, they have as plans to the people... should be able to pick up that. People. In the campaign of candidate A at Olomoboro or at... Uh, Ijumu or at Kaba, the, the, the candidate said he's going to do this to the people. That is the issue. And then you now analyze it, which is what everybody does worldwide. But no, you, you don't even talk about their campaign. I don't, I've not read where a candidate campaign in ex local government, in B local government, the only one I see with maybe the national, the, the statewide rallies. You've not, so the issues are not there. Rather, every day it is the violence, the thuggery. The killing. So, we, the sensational, our news pattern in this country sincerely makes the country look so bad. I, I'll put a pin there. Um, Timmy Takwe, we'll pick up from where he stopped. He's uh, saying that we're not paying attention 
to the issues. And I'm going to ask the same question I asked him. Could this be that it is a way to run away from being asked the question of what exactly are your plans? What do you want to offer the people? And how do you intend to do so? And let's, let's, not, um, no, let, let's be fair to the, to the people and also to the campaigners too. You will do no justice when you say that um, people don't campaign. Politics is local. Before you, you come to a major rally, you must have gone through the units, you must have gone through the wards before you now put everything together, your structure, and it's okay, fine, we are meeting in social social place tomorrow. The question should be that, um, should be that what is going on? Because before, when you're talking to the people, you are actually reading your manifestos to them. This is what I would do for you. This is what I would do for you. Your road is bad, I would do it. People do, people definitely say all of that. This your salary will be paid against what maybe an, an incumbent is not doing or and what you tend to do. They will definitely do all of that. I think the, the major problem we should be talking about is that what's actually the problem, the cause, the cause of all this um, 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 vote buying and the cause and, and, and major issues. Like we should be asking ourselves that I mean, the major thing I think, in my own opinion, is that the, the leaders before now has created a problem for for the followers. Now the followers are, are creating more problem for the leaders, and that's the truth because. Now the followers make demands because if you go for your four years and you don't even return, they don't care anymore. Even still, they still want you to have a part. Okay, fine, this is what you're bringing for us in the next four years. You've promised us this. But even if you promise us this, we still want something from you as a bit to show that we have something to gain from you at the moment. You might not come well, back in all of place. that is gone because as we speak, sensitive, some non-sensitive and sensitive materials have been sent maybe from the central bank of this different states to the polling offices or the INEC offices in those states. The issue is you cannot have an election if there is no security. Now, the IGP has read the riot act and said anybody who wants to snatch ballot boxes will do that at their own peril. But how safe are these places? Because of all the stories we're hearing, and how can people actually come out and exercise their franchises if security is a major problem? I, I must say that at, at the moment, um, Kogi is saved. I was in Kogi yesterday. I traveled down from Abuja today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the political terrain is actually very rugged because of the, um, the campaign is actually going on because you still have your campaign today. No more know. campaign. No more campaign. It ended, everything ended yesterday. It ended yesterday. Yesterday. So that was yesterday that I was in Kogi, I can tell you categorically that it was looking so like rough and calm. It's expected because it all tensed up. Yeah, the PDP wants Kogi. Well, we, 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 we're not going to talk about the political parties. Oh, right. The other, the other side also want Kogi too. So um, the thing is this, uh, we, we should be careful um, what we say about 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 security because police, has, um, the, the police, the other other parasta, other other agencies, actually release their men to come on the field to do their work. So let's hope that they. Would if do. you were going out to vote in Kogi, would you be saying of a surety that it would be safe for you to go out and vote, and you're certain that all polling units will be safe? No, I agree because again, we've heard the people who are dressed in police uniform. I have invaded a hotel where a serving governor was lodging ahead of the election. So how are we supposed to believe that it's going to be safe? You, you For are, someone who has been you, there. You are supposed to prove that to us because you are the journalist that's supposed to be on the field. Well, I'm the not moment. in Kogi, but you, you, you're you, giving me a report no, no, saying I, 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 you I just told me that you were in Kogi yeah, and I was safe. And then you told me once again that it was tense. So it's, I'm trying to understand it's, it's, it's what you mean by it was tense it's, and it was safe. It's, it's possible that it could be political meandering, a detraction anyway. But at the same time, even if it's a detraction, I don't have a proof to tell you that. Um, whoever was uh, 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 um, 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 busted into, I was not there. I didn't get any report. I don't have any fact, too. Yeah. So. Okay. Now let's let's talk about INEX planning. We always have. I mean, we were all here during the election earlier this year, and then uh, at the stroke of two p two a.m., we heard that the elections were shifted. I think always has enough time to plan for these elections. And we always say every election is a litmus test of sorts to see what is to come. And thinking that maybe we're tired of that now. Can we say that these elections will be totally different from the rest that we've had, especially with what we just had in 
the early part of the year? The, the, the problem is, for me, the, 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 the tripartite of any election process is INEC, the parties, and the people. Now, um, if INEC is working straight and the people and the parties are working at cross posts with INEC, mm -hmm. then, there's, then there's always going to be a problem because the people have a major role to play. Talking about election materials, I, I, I do not know why this will keep on being a recurring issue. I do not know in the country of the world where they put the election materials in the vault of their central bank. I do not know anywhere in the world where their election materials have to be guided in such a way that it looks as if you are carrying gold. Even, even when people transport gold, the way it is transported, I do not understand. But it's this is not because of the situation simply of things. Because, simply because the other arms, the other stakeholders being the people and the parties are always at, at uh, cross purpose with INEC. I do not understand if everybody has gone to campaign and you know that you have sold their manifesto to the people and you expect that the people should vote for you. I don't understand, I don't understand these extra measures you are taking. Either, like you said, to have uh, policemen in, in uh, uh, stocks in police uniform, waiting to snatch ballot box. Oh, you don't understand. And all those other things. Because I did not even understand why INEC. Why you will snatch his ballot box and run away with their ballot box, and that is what should count. I do not see, I do not understand it. If you snatch a ballot box and run away with ballot box, to go and do what? Turn print the papers and all whatnot. How should that count? Because INEC has, INEC should have uh, persons that are supposed to man every pulling unit. And if the result did not get to the collision center from that accredited person. How come that result will count? But we've seen this happen That is times. the problem. That is the problem. Because, it's, because look, we've seen on social media, we've seen all over the place, we have like Tom printing ballot uh, uh, papers. After Tom printing, and at the end of the day, it will count. How? Because, like I said, that is every pool, every pool but does that not also prove that the whole process is skewed? So we hear a lot of talking tough. And at the end of the day, the process is still the same. I, We're going I, around in circles. I, I, I what, are the thing, what are the things that you think, Alester, need to be changed? Instead of us talking tough, what are the actions that need to be taken for the electoral process to at least experience some form of positive change? No, these days, I think, see, the, with, I, 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 used to, I used to have a very firm belief that with some of the, with some of the uh, reforms Enek has done, Cavida, um, uh, uh, tracking of the uh, materials from beginning to the end, I wish to believe that that could have done a lot of good. Because like I said, every police unit is numbered. These days, election material is even designated to particular polling units for which there is somebody in charge. Now, how come people see snatch by lockbox? Such does not count. Because Whoever is in a pulling unit where a resort is snatched or a ballot box is snatched, that automatically should cancel that unit. So, and so what is the, the action the, 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 that the, needs the, to be taken in essence see, quickly? You see, the, the action that needs to be taken is the fact that, look, it's not a matter of talking tough. It's not a matter of saying we have guarantees of security. I'm talking about security really and truly. I don't think the reportage is, is right. Because when the reportage, just like my brother has said, when the, the way the reportage will always come, like, it looks as if Kogi State, the entire, uh, is it 17 or is it how local <laughs> government, is in flame. <laughs> Meanwhile, people are going to buy their businesses. Maybe Lokoja might be tense because it's the capital. But oh, in the suburbs and everywhere, how do people go there to fight? So sometimes the reportage also gives you a wrong impression. And then you now feel that it is not safe. In the local community where they know themselves, who wants to go and kill each other? It's maybe in the cities where they can go and bring somebody else from, maybe somebody from uh, 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 um, maybe um, Akaba to come and cause mayhem, mayhem in Lokoja. But they cannot tell me that people within a locality in Kaba that know themselves, they know their family houses, they not start killing each other. So some of the reportage need to be corrected. But what needs to be done is okay, the fact Alex, that INEC needs to 
put his heart in. It's all behold of an enemy. I'm going to come back to you. You seem to like to attack the media, but let, let's move on to Timmy Tokwe. Um, there has been a report saying that vote buy, there was an expose on a vote buying scandal. Uh, apparently, uh, reports indicate that one of the parties, we don't know which, have made overtures and have been inducing SBOs with bribes of $1,000 to buy buy them over and um, and get them, the SBOs, to do the bidding of those political parties on election day. But this has been exposed. Um, and th this report also for the con was confirmed by a bereaved change operator within the state who was interviewed, who said that there's been an upsurge in the number of customers calling to change you know, uh, mm -hmm. dollars. But this also can also be, you know, uh, an allegation which has not been substantiated. INEC earlier this year had said that they do not know how to stop vote buying. It's going to be a tough call, you know, to ever be able to stop vote buying. If INEC in, on its own is saying it's difficult, and we have security agencies who also sometimes, who, in fact, the people who man these polling units are, Police officers without guns. So, how do you stop vote buying? Ainek has said when you, they've come up with some measures, but can that really stop vote buying? We also hear that vote buying does not necessarily start and end at polling, you know, units. Sometimes it happens before you get there. This is also a major issue. How can we really have free, fair, credible elections if vote buying is the elephant in the room? Yeah. First thing first is that um, we're talking about vote buying and not vote buying. We are talking about the people. The people, the, the election of Kogi and Baeza is not about people of Kogi and Baeza alone. It's about the next generation that is coming to Kogi. Yeah, in the next one, two years, they will start giving back to another child, another children. And uh, we start thinking about, what, are we still going to maintain this blurring future for our children? So it's in their hand to decide the kind of future they want for themselves and the, and the future of their own children too. So looking at um, the, if the politicians have gone to the bury the change, which I don't have the fact, <laughs> after they've gone to bury the change, it's going to give the money to people. So it's in the hand of the people. Even though we are advocating change, change from year to year, the money still goes to the people. So I, I, I would rather say... What do you say, mean by the money still goes to the people? What exactly do you mean by that? Are you it, saying that it's okay to, to take it, those monies because it goes back to the people? Don't, don't quote me, I didn't say that. So what do you mean? Because that, you have to no, be no, as explicit you, 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 as you're possible. Saying, you're saying that um, they have, they, you got a report from Build the Change saying that people have come to change money, that they want to induce the people to vote for them. Probably they, 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 they get people induced even before the election and the process of vote buying continue. We, would, we, should, not, we should stop... Um, deceiving ourselves that this, this is a practice that's come to stay in our environment. Unless we, the people, uh, we, we orientate ourselves on the havoc on vote buying. Because the politician, the, oh, so to say, the, the investor, uh, I, 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 I don't want to call them politician for now, the investor that have come with, um, with 10 billion to invest on election knows that he would want to make his money back. He has done his, he has done, he has but done. How many people understand how bad that is? Because the truth is, I've heard people say, oh, there are a lot of people who have been kept in poverty and up until a day like election where 5,000 naira means a lot to them and they're not thinking about the future because they're hungry and they want to feed their children. So how about that man's mindset? Maybe you and I might be able to overlook it and say it's nothing because we know better. But what about those people? Who's educating them? Who's telling them? Apart from the media. But there are also people who live in areas where they don't listen to the radio. They don't watch TV. Where is the NOA? Who are the people in civil society in educating these people about the future, which is bigger than that 1,000 Naira or 5,000 Naira? Let, let, let me use myself as an example. I contested the last election for House of Representatives. Before then, I, I run it. Um, um, an NGO program, and uh, with, the, with the AIDS and all, I may be, I've been able to put like over 2,000 people, people in school in my state. All right, on election day, I, I, I want, I'm trying to buttress what you have said. On election day, a woman came to me that I just finished paying the, 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 the new batch of those children that are just resuming school that period. She saw me and said, okay, tell me, tomorrow is the election, yeah? I told her she got the details, she went back. On election day, after my election, I, I, I had voted, 
I'm still waiting to come to make sure that I should, at least I have my <laughs> unit. She came, she came back and um, she had forgotten that that day was my election. This is someone you are paying for two of their children to be in school. The decision is very bad, it's psychological. Did you get? People are hungry. People, people mindset has been, has been beclouded to a way that they don't even think about. So how do we re-educate? This is my see, question. See, I, spent, I spent a whole lot of my time. The money I should have spent on, on election day, I spent it pre-election. Oh, you wanted to buy vote on election No, no, I'm not day? telling you that. I so said, why, why no, no, would you be spending money the, on election the, the society, day? Chill. The, the society have told me that, no, they are, they are, the, the, the money for election is different from the for pre-election. It's different from the money for election day. Look, see, I, I, I have a major problem with some of the we will call the people. When people are, sorry to use this word on national TV, when people are silly and stupid in their mentality, we use poverty to excuse, excuse them. No, 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 you stay in an urban. No, you stay, no, you stay I, in an urban. I, 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 grew up, I grew up in a rural area. No, no, see, but I'm no, not an urban. What was, what was the last time I'm, you were I'm home? Not, I'm, what was the last time you were home? I was home just, just last month. I was my birthday last month. Do you know how many people that have gone to your mom or your my grandma brother. to give them a, a, bottle, my a brother, bag of rice? My brother, my brother. Look, let us not be demeaning our people. People will always tell you, I grew up in poverty, I know what poverty is. I'm, I'm, I, didn't, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I'm seeing on national television, I sold, I sold a pap, I sold bread. So we all have our story. No, no, so, okay. so, what, I'm so, so what I'm saying is, is so it is not today. Do you understand? So every day we want to justify people's silliness and people's greed, and we say because they are poor. Okay, if you feed them on that election day, who feeds them for the next 360 days? But this and is they the, have children. Alastair, in, in, in closing. So, so, it, no, look, this for is me, the question. For me, this yes, thing has come to stay because... You're give, hold on. If you're given 5,000 naira, yes, you have food for a little time. But what happens... You don't, it, it is those people that are telling that they're taking 5,000 naira, they have more than... They, look, it is just the mentality. That is the Let me chop it. And that you haven't truth. answered my no, question. My dad, How I'm do we answer, change it, that mentality? You, it, the mentality is because the people are silly. And then the person capitalizes on that silliness of the people. Do you understand? Now... It, 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 it said they don't hear, they, they don't watch TV. That, that can't be true. Even people with their phone, now that people in the rural areas have phones. How many of them? What's the percentage Look, of the people? My dear, there's nobody in my village that has no phone. I come from a very rural area. Where's your proof? There's where's nobody your, in my village. The Look, so let us not be. Look. Uh, All these networks. You're being, you're generalizing. I'm not but, generalizing. But there but, are some people, yes, that you can but say. But for those there who are don't, people that you can say, yes, very few, my, very few. Alexa, you still haven't given me the answer to my question. You're just going around and saying. No, I'm not going to answer. I'm just trying to tell what, you that we are, the we narrative deal? is wrong. How do we deal with Until that silliness that you deal with the mindset of the people. And the, How? It, it is politicians that will stop it. How? There's no other way than the person stopping it. How? And knowing that power is to be earned. You haven't answered my question, but we have no, to go on a short break. Let's thank not you. be still of the people. Let's not, thank let's you, not thank you, Alester. All right, thank you, Alester Wilcox and Timmy uh, Timmy Tukpe. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll be looking at allegations of a padded budget. Stay with us.